Oklahoma off the grid Heaven could be close enough to touch If you keep it Dutch Building a snowman in here? Nice, man. Randy's building a snowman. Oh, that ain't that bad. Yeah, that's just up to my calf. <laughs> I can see where they didn't nail it right there. So that's good. Yeah. See it right here, the one that. No, I think they just, that guy just didn't nail it. Um, so we we're looking with the snow load on the roof. Was it yesterday that we noticed that, Brandy? I did. Well, I seen it, but I mean. You weren't gonna tell me. Yeah, really, I was gonna have them fix it when they got back, but um, there was a hump. There was a hump in some of the, um, of the sheathing up here. And like, let me, let me walk out here and show you guys and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's walk over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here or not. What's this red stuff, Randy? Someone was yeah, right. What is that? What is that? So all the snow is melting and it is a muddy mess. Look at that. It's crazy. Okay, so I don't know if you can, I can see it. it's right there. It's like the one, two, the fourth one up. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Do you kind of see it? It's kind of hard for me to tell if you guys can see it or not, but right, yeah, right there. See that hump in that one? Now the first two right here, we told them not to nail down like crazy because we need to, we'll have to pop one or two of them off um, because when we do the porch, we need access right there. But they were supposed to nail that one. They just missed, they just missed it. Um, but we, we see it so we can, they can fix it and they come back and I'll show you, I'll try to zoom in for you guys because I can actually see where they missed it. See if you can see in there. I wasn't climb up there and look, but I could actually see it from down here. Yeah. See that little, see the daylight in that two by four right there in the truss? That's they just didn't, they said nailed down. We're gonna this in. What, what, what? I mean, Dad. What? Guess what this is, Byron Beck? It's a Hershey Valentine. I know, heart. How do you know? He's gonna take them over to Megan and Dylan's for um, Kate and you guys to share. Can I share it? Yeah, you can have seven. So Brandy um, started sweeping this out. Um, she's got a pile of ice right here. Because there's huge chunks of Yeah, it's ice. like it's a lot. There's a bunch of it. And the, uh, from what I noticed, the slab kind of goes to that angle a little bit because that's where all the water's going to. And that might have been where we had issues with the trusses. It's also open, but... Yeah, but when it rained too, side. it always went to that side. So that might be where the problem was with the wall being a little bit lower. Um, it wasn't, so a lot of people said it was the interior walls that were causing that to blow up, but they weren't really, they weren't touching the interior walls either. I think it's just because it's a little lower right there and threw some things off. The dog pooped in here. That's Lily's poop. That's disgusting. Yeah, Lily pooped in, in the bathroom. <laughs> At least it was in the bathroom. Lily, you little rat, what are you doing? That wasn't there. So I'll get this shop back hooked up, Randy, and we can try to suck a lot of that. I might help you just. That's broom it out he was first. In the bathroom. I know. Okay, let me. Uh, I'm gonna get all this uh, set up. Let me get the extension cords out. We're gonna try to shop back all that out. It looks like it's gonna be clear for the next week or so. Um, so we'll give you a Sunday update here in just a little bit. Right now, we're gonna try to get this water out. It all started to melt, so it's making it easier on us. So uh, let me set this up, and we'll be back in just a minute.
But I'm glad we, I'm glad we caught that mistake up there now before the, ro the um, actual roof got put on because that would probably cause us a bit of problems, but that's an easy fix. Um, I can see overlooking the line or two, but other than that, it all looks great. Um, so I got the um, shop back hooked up. I'm gonna help Brady uh, shop back some of this up and I gotta go work on the front of the road because when they were grading our main road coming to our property, um, they messed up our driveway, our entrance, and it's like a big bump in there. So I got the Bobcat running and you can help. So that's the Bobcat running. I'm gonna go um, change the bucket and all that stuff. I'll probably show you guys some of that, but let's get some of this water out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to open up this valve and maybe we can just continue to suck it out and let it drain. I have no idea if it'll work or not, but I'm gonna try it. So it's draining, but I don't know if it'll continue to suck or not. Not really. So we'll just dump it like that. I'll keep it in the window and I'll let Hadley or someone suck it and I'll keep dumping it. Show me what you did over here. So Hadley got this room cleaned out for the most part. There was about, what do you think, two inches of, two inches in here, Brandy? I mean, how big is that? Is that inch and a half, yeah. Well, it's inch and a half, yeah. So about inch and a half, two inches up over that. Just all of the water just coming to this one area. And uh, you see there's a little bit here, but that's gonna, that'll dry out and evaporate. Nothing like it was. Good job, Had. And then Hayden and Hope did a good job too. They went out and picked up all the nails and some other trash. So Brandy's just kind of pushing it all the ice into a pile. Yep, that'll melt and evaporate and a little bit of pile here. And for the most part, this is all this is better. This is the laundry room. Well, like you said, it should look like this again. No. Should be good. But yeah, like I said earlier, I'm glad we caught that. It's that one, it's just that one sheet right there that I could tell. You see more, maybe one next to it too. I didn't see it. I see a couple actually. I saw it from the outside. I could see it from the inside. I could see I could see a couple on that on that one row. They just they just didn't nail a couple of them down the middle. And that's probably just getting in a hurry, trying to get the job done. I get it. Um, but it's an it's an easy fix. We caught it, it's an easy fix. We'll take care of it but right now. 
Brandon's gonna finish doing this in here and I'm gonna get on the Bobcat. I'll take you guys up to the front, kind of just show you what, it's not a big uh, deal that what they did um, because they were scraping the roads for us. Obviously that's awesome, um, but it's just like a little like a speed bump now coming into the driveway instead of a smooth transition. Uh, so we'll go up there and fix that. Then we'll give you an update on what we got going on um, this week. Okay, we're up at the front of the property um, in our entrance. Let me show you um, kind of just when they're scraping it. You can probably imagine when they brought that scraper by, it just scraped the front of our driveway and made it like a wall kind of. So I'm going to knock this down and uh, get it fixed so it's not a speed bump when we're coming in here. Okay. May not look that bad in, in uh, on camera, but it's probably about a 7 inch, 8 inch uh, hump right there and they just when they just when they scraped it they scraped it all up no big deal though because it got the road clear for us um, but i actually have some uh um three inch base like three and a half inch base that i'm going to spread out a little bit right here right now anyways so let's get this fixed spread a little bit of this out some of the holes right there and uh, let's get this taken care of Ladies are finally out foraging for the first time in like three days. Not these two ladies, but the chickens. And they're absolutely loving it. That one's uh, scratching. That one's going to run over there and get what she missed. So it's actually turned out to be a really nice um, Sunday afternoon. No wind at all probably about 48 degrees out here things are melting getting nice and muddy but once all this melts it'll dry up and then we'll get busy again uh, hey bobby bobby's on my truck see him that's brandy that's bobby okay that's all we're doing as of right now um, but the update for this week is hopefully they get the um sheathing put on uh, so my father-in-law was telling me there's people in the comments they said they call themselves contractors they said please quit calling it decking on the roof it's sheathing you guys i'm gonna do that a lot um 
as just, I just call it deck board, it's sheathing board. You guys know what I mean, but I guess the contractors out there just really don't like it whenever I call the sheathing decking. Uh, so the sheathing, hopefully we get it back on, or hopefully we get it all done this week, um, get the windows over here, get it right in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until they're completely done working on the trusses and, and the house and all that as like far as the sheathing goes and then i'm gonna get, put the windows in because i don't want an accidental two by four going through a window or a door huh brandy yes so what are you doing i was gonna see what your update is that was the update what hopefully get the sheathing done and get the windows put in oh, yeah. and then we need to go back in i got two closets i have to finish and um, i gotta start putting the blocking in all the walls we got all the exterior walls um, now we need to get all the interior walls done so hopefully I have an update. What's your update? We are not sold out of day three tickets for the expo. Oh. Uh, Shopify, I think when it's set up, we had the pre-sale and when they, when that day came and went, it just, just, it just says sold out. Like it automatically goes on there. So some people have been confused about that. So if you guys yeah. didn't know, we're putting an expo on March 19th. That's open to the public. Tickets are not sold out. They won't be sold out. No. You can buy as many as you want at the door. They might show that online. We're yeah. trying to work through the that. The pre-sale is over with. That's but what the online was. you can just show up at the door, $20 for adults and $17 under free. For free so, so that's unlimited. The only thing that would limit it is like too many people in the building and we kind of have to disperse. But there's, it's a big facility with indoor and outdoor options and so we don't have a limit on tickets so it's not sold out if you guys want to come come see us and um we need to do an up down oaky homesteading also yeah. because a lot of people are wanting to know if they get if they're gonna to get to meet us and we're actually gonna do like a q a at the end and then like an hour hour and a half of just everyone mingling just getting to know yeah. each other talk to each other take pictures with people do all that kind of stuff so yes um if you don't get to see if you do come don't see us a lot throughout the day at the end of the day if you're still there um we're gonna be there uh for you guys um to meet you guys and and have fun and all the speakers we're gonna plan on having them like a little side table for maybe the in-between times between speakers you can go up yeah. and kind of ask a couple questions or something or introduce yourself to so them. i guess the okie homesteading has been on your mind a lot here lately that's yeah. why i came over here to talk about it yeah. um, we need well, to do we need to do people, one on i don't want people to think it's sold out and because i even had a girl at church today she's like it's sold out yeah, and i'm like crazy. no you can come so yeah so hope so. to hope to see you guys march 19th if you bought day one and day two tickets we'll be there we'll be there every day i'm yep. um, looking forward to seeing you guys got all the t-shirts out oh another thing is um rachel put on our facebook page okie homesteading if you got an okie homesteading shirt you could take a picture and go post it yes. on our webs on our facebook and put your youtube channel and all that stuff if you want to so well and it's been really neat Several just to because we see people's names over and over but like ordering stuff or commenting but now to see a picture with their t-shirt yeah. on that was really cool that's pretty so. cool so all right that's our update for sunday and uh, next couple days we'll hopefully have an update on um the sheathing on the house love you guys catch you on next field thanks for watching